Don't know what I want. Tell you what, get back to you in half an hour, shall I? I have got other stuff to do, you know. Deep fat fryers don't clean themselves. Tell you what, I'll have ham. You can't go wrong with ham. Stick a piece of lettuce on there as well, eh? Show sure willing. Uh, I'm begging for that Eccles cake. What the hell's going on? You sent someone to Eccles to fetch it. I've only got one pair of hands. Yeah, and it's a good while since it's also a water bite loops of them. Cheeky mare. <laughs> Joking apart, though, it looks like you can do me a bit of help. I'm reviewing my options at the moment as it goes. Hang on. Hold the lettuce. I had some cress yesterday. Reckon that's enough greenery for now. You could put in a word for me. Um, I don't think so. Actually, though, now I think on, I saw some in paper that might suit you. Oh, all right, ta. Yep, there. Uh, bog attendant in Arndale. <laughs> You're a laugh a minute, you. <laughs> I always think it's not what you do, it's how you do it that's important. If you take pride in your work, you get the best out of it. Did you get that out of Christmas cracker? I'm only saying. Well, don't. Eccles cake. 30 seconds, or I'll be putting in a formal complaint. I should buy you a drink. Why, you're going to put rat poison in it? To say thank you. Found a job thanks to you. You should be one of them careers counsellors. Let's have a seat. Got an interview tomorrow. Carer? You must be joking! Well, to be a carer, you've got to, like, care about people. Many people have said to me, Scylla, the milk of human kindness just oozes out of you. Right. And now you're Weatherfield's answer to Mother Teresa. Oh, she were a lovely woman. But by God, she needed a decent moisturiser. Hiya. Give us uh, three custard slices, will you? Yeah. All for you. No, one for me, two for my colleagues. I'm only joking. Hiya. Oh, hiya. 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 At least I haven't found out who started that fire at her house, have they? You're going to make a joke about that as well. Am I heck? Having your house set on fire is a bit more serious than eating like a pig. You keeping out of that Doreen's way? Oh, no, no, paper lads on holiday. Nothing more sinister than that. Mm. <laughs> anyway, Rita's back today. <laughs> Morning. Morning. Oh. Oh. oh, it's not Claire. It's that uh, friend of theirs. Yeah, with friends like that, eh? Mm. Hey, talking to mates. <laughs> Taxi lads are having a right laugh about you in kebab shop last night. Flip it, have they got nothing better to do? <laughs> have you heard about him on holiday? Uh, no, but, <laughs> but then I, I'm not one for idle gossip. Good. <laughs> but you see, the folk coming in the shop will want to hear, even if it is nonsense. So just exactly what happened, eh? Oh, hi again. Again? Yeah, we said hi this morning. Oh, yeah. Uh, when's Claire back? And what's he got to do with you? Well, I just thought she were home this morning, only with that mate of hers, wasn't it? Look, if you've got something to say, then say, cos I've not got all day. OK, but you asked. Watch her. You what? She's a bad one, Ashley. I've been around enough to know. What are you saying this for? What's she ever done to you? I I've been watching her with Claire, with you. And summer is not right. Oh, well, this is flaming rich. If Roy and Ailey had listened to everyone that had warned them about you, then you won't be here now. And you think you can come up to me and slag Casey off? You make me sick. That's the third. There you go. If you were working in a recycling plant, I'd have gone about with hundreds of these coming along and you had to undo every one. I wouldn't mind, so long as the boss weren't perched on my shoulder and I gave my pants off. You didn't wash the plastic pots. No. And I didn't knit them little covers, neither. Maybe a compromise. <laughs> Leave them to drain overnight and put them away in the morning, eh? Oh. Ailey, do you not think this is getting a bit over the top? Can we please have a meeting about this recycling stuff? Mm, sorry, I'm helping out at bringing by late. <laughs> oh, Ailes, if you pass an army shop, tell them I'll sign on for ten years. Oh. <laughs> so? You put the clothes sign on the door, Roy. 
I did, yes. So we're closed then? Well, to new customers, yes, but we don't rush existing customers, do we? As if. Do you want help with that, love? What? Only he's got it in his head that we're doing a total clean, like, wipe out. And if you get a whiff of one of those organic cleaner fumes, oh. I'm finished anyway, love. Oh, so soon. Now, shouldn't you be hanging around a bus stop with your mates? Don't do that. Oh. Most kids your age looking forward to going to uni, aren't they? Gigs, festivals, having a laugh. But you, an old magazine, and the rest of the day stretching out all empty. Yeah, well, when I need cheering up. Oh, any time. Go away, we're shut. Hello, Rose Rolls, but we're closed. Who? Well, I haven't got an Uncle Bert. Yeah, he's here. Uh, thank you, Becky. Hang on. Mm. Good afternoon, Bert. Well, well, she sh shouldn't be very long. I could get her to ring you. Oh dear. Oh dear, I'm sorry. Hey, yeah. Oh, missed time that, didn't I? I thought hard work could be done by now. What would I got you? Only 50p, but I gave him a pound because it's for a good cause, isn't it? Public transport in Manchester from 1947 to... What is it? S sit down, love. What's happened? I'll... I'll make us a brew. Um... I'm sorry, uh, Your Uncle Bert phoned and... Monica. It's me, Auntie Monica, isn't it? Hayley, this is easily postponed. We planned it ages ago, I'm fine. Yes, but you've had a terrible shock, your Auntie Monica dying so suddenly. Right, I'd rather just keep busy. Um, have we got any more bleach? Uh, thin, thick or scented. I'm not bothered, Roy, it's bleach. You must have been right close to this auntie. I were, yeah. <clears throat> you don't talk about your family much? Uh, no, well, uh, apart from her, me and my family never really, um, you know, once I'd, once I'd got older. The tranny thing? It's a lot for any family to deal with. Well, I don't know. I think my mum would take that any day over at some of the stuff I put her through. I'm sorry. I'd be a terrible Samaritan, wouldn't I? Oh, she never wavered me, Auntie Monica. Never. Oh, Wales. Oh, Hayley, please don't cry. <laughs> oh, I ain't seeing you upset. Oh. After everything she did for me. Well, you did see quite a lot of her. Um, bear in mind how much she enjoyed our visits. Yeah, that little trip out to peace when we first got traveller. Yes, and, th and there were all the weeks you spent there when Uncle Wilf was dying. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm really glad I were able to be there for her then. Heidi, have you thought perhaps of uh, expressing your warm feelings with, with a few words, perhaps, at, at the funeral? Right. I'm not going to a funeral. Can you imagine? My whole family will be there. Well, you could eat your dinner off them, box. Not that I recommend it. <gasps> oh, sorry. Uh, w would you mind, Becky, just um, finishing off down here, locking up? Uh, Hayley and I will go upstairs. Oh, yeah, yeah, no worries. And um, if you need anything, oh, just we're fine. Oh, thank you. Thanks, Becky. You know, um, you know me, Auntie Monica, were the first person I ever told about how different I felt. No idea how I expected her to react, but. There's me trying to get the words out through the tears and she's just sitting there listening quietly and, and once I've told her, well, suddenly I panic and I'm terrified and I'm begging her not to tell me dad. Of course, I'm even worried. I'll never forget the first thing she said to me after all me going on. She said, it'd be a dull old world if we're all the same. <laughs> a week after she took me shopping, I haven't got a clue about claws and... 
She took me measurements so I didn't have to try stuff on in the shop and then afterwards we went back to Wears and she helped me to put myself together. Just quietly, little, little suggestions. No idea where she got that kind of understanding from. That kindness. She never judged me. I mean, for years she was the only person who knew and she never said a thing. I'm not even sure that I'd be here now if it weren't for her. <laughs> I am going to go to that funeral, right? My family have already done the worst. I'm, I'm going to go and I'm going to be there for my auntie Monica. Where should we there for me? <laughs> Just sent flowers, you know. I can't not go, right? I want to go. My Auntie Monica were the only one who stood by me when all others... All the others who will be there making you feel at best unwelcome. Shove a brick in your bag. Anyone makes a smart remark, one good swing will shut them up. <laughs> Joking. Her and my Uncle Bert were the only ones I ever really cared about. The least I can do is go to a funeral. What was your show? make it to Monica would have been too. Lovely to see you, Uncle Bert. I'd have preferred it under different circumstances. Yeah, me too. It is Harold, isn't it? Talk about brass neck. Do you know them? Dennis and Barbara. Monica's brother-in-law and his wife. Yeah, I remember him from when I was little. <laughs> like a couple of snobby know it alls. <laughs> We step inside. Good idea. <laughs> Not entirely satisfactory, are they? Cremations. I mean, the, the ecological cost, I mean, fossil fuels, carbon emissions, I mean, we are literally fanning the flames of global warming. Roy, she never drove, she never flew, she rode a bike everywhere until that accident with the Chihuahua. I think we can forgive her a cremation. She did ask me to scatter her ashes over my roses, if it helps. Uh, she always loved my old English varieties. Yeah. Just to let you know, we're all disgusted, you having the gall to come today. You've turned that service into a mockery. My wife has every right to pay her last respects to her aunt. Wife? As if. Respect? I don't think so. It's you two making a mockery of this funeral. You and your small-minded stupidity. Right, it doesn't matter. Come on. You were never anything but a disappointment to Monica. Never. She wouldn't even mention your name. Either of them. The second we'd ask, she'd change the subject. What right do you think you have to pass judgment? My wife has more decency, integrity and humanity than you pair of bigoted buffoons will ever come close to having. Right, come on, it doesn't matter. Oh. <sighs> Taking Becky's advice now and put a brick in me hand bag. Well, I have to say I was extremely proud of you. If I'd have been in your shoes, I might have burst into tears. Oh, you've given him the satisfaction. Hayley! Oh, I'm so sorry about that. You? It was them. Forty years I've waited for someone to put those two in their place. Well done. The only reason why Monica refused to discuss you with them is because she also despised their... Uh, what was it, uh, Roy? Their small-minded bigotry and wouldn't give them the satisfaction of feeding it. Oh, thanks, Uncle Bears. I uh, know she would have wanted you to have this... Uh, oh. uh, some of her jewellery, a few odds and ends. Oh. Now, don't leave it till my funeral, before you come back this way. Fine. Goodbye. G goodbye, bird. Your uncle nicked this lot from his sister's house before Will were red. Something my lot would do with that. <laughs> it weren't like that, I'm sure. Hey, 
Never mind all rubbish shales. Let's see what's in there. Ooh, I bet they're worth a bob or two. Oh, I doubt it. Monica never had any money. Hey, getting valued. You read about all women living in filth, then turn out to be millionaires. <laughs> I don't think so. Well, she wanted you to have them, that's what he said, so it wouldn't just be rubbish. Yeah, well, she always acknowledged me as a woman, so every time I wear one of her bracelets or a necklace, I'll think of Monica. And I'd get them valued. And I'd think of Monica from my villa in Spain. But, you know, that's just me. I can't see anyone leaving me out of sentimental value. Or out at all, really. Hey, look at this. A school report. Oh, give me that, please. Get Becky. lost! English, good. Maths, good. <laughs> Rubbish at games. Oh, hey, listen to this. Harold needs to be more self assertive. Yes, well, he, he was bullied a lot. Could we have some assistance here, please? <laughs> yeah, come in. to the flat for a bit. But we haven't finished looking through your stuff. There's nothing else. <sighs> Would you mind if I had a bath? Uh, no, of course not. I know it's not as ecologically sound as a shower. Right, water. relax. Have a bath. I will. Thank you. I won't be too long if, if, if you want the water. Is there anything the matter? Look, you're not still fretting about that dreadful couple at the funeral, I hope. Oh, of course not, no. Um, no, I enjoy your bath. I think I might just pop out for some fresh air. I'll not overfill it. Shouldn't you be getting ready? I'm not going in today. I don't feel up to it. This is about that couple at the funeral, isn't it? What couple? Well, the ones who insulted you. Oh, no. Look, if they can't accept you for who you are... Right, then... I've already said it's not about that. Why does everybody keep having to bring up Harold? I wasn't. It's all in the past. Yeah, I know, I know. I'm sorry, it's just that so many things I want to say to her and ask her. And I can't now. So unfair. Yes. Well, perhaps you're right. Perhaps it... take the day off. Give yourself time to, to come to terms. I'd best get on. What are you doing? Making a, a water-saving device for the toilets. Right. 
so um, how's Ailey now? Oh, still very upset. Well, sometimes it's not till after someone's died you realise how much they meant to you. Oh, that's, that's very true. You should appreciate them more, I've done stuff for them, but by then it's too late, isn't it? You, you've had a bereavement? Yeah. I was only a kid. Oh, it's terrible. Still, that's the trouble with hamsters, isn't it? It's too easy to forget to feed them. Surprise! Oh, oh sorry. <gasps> sorry, here you are. I'll oh, bring you this. Thanks. Oh, so is that then? Oh, it's just somebody from the past. Isn't hey, let's it? have a look. He's quite cute, he is. I could go for him if you're a few years older. Everything has to come down to that with you, don't it? You've no shame. Sorry, I was only trying to make conversation. Forget I spoke. Enjoy your cake. Where's Roy? I've gone to buy some recycled toilet paper. <laughs> I I'm sorry for snapping at you. you you didn't deserve that. No, I didn't. It's just I'm in a bit of a state and then... Um, well, I shouldn't have taken it out on you. That's all right. So when you say he was from the past, is he dead? In a way, yeah. How can you be dead in a way? It was Harold. You mean... That was you before you had the gender assignment. Yeah. Oh, so in a way, I was saying I could go for you. Oh, no wonder you were mad. No, oh, no, no. I... Oh. Ailey. Oh. Ailey, hang on. Go away! I'm sorry, I was only joking. Yeah, well, it's not funny! I know! It never was funny! I'm not that boy and I never was! Do you understand? Yes! I won't be reminded of it on once! <laughs> oh no, please don't cry. Oh, I am so sorry. It was stupid of me. I didn't mean to upset you. It doesn't matter. Yes, it does. Me and my big gob. Do you want me to go? Yeah, I'll go. I've got a son. What? I've just found out I've got a son. Right. I've closed the cafe for a bit. You can't do that. Of course I can. Roy will go mad. Hey, what Roy don't know won't hurt him. I take it he doesn't know this then either. So how did you find out? There were some old letters in the bottom of that jewellery box. Addressed to Harold Patterson. From this lad. Wanting to meet his father. You mean you? That's the first you knew of it? Well, my auntie Monica had obviously read them, but she, she didn't pass them on. That's awful. Well, I suppose she was trying to protect me. So he's grown up now, is he? In his twenties. <laughs> when I think that all those years and I never knew. This baby and then this toddler and this teenager. And it's all I ever wanted. And I missed it all. What about his mum? She's dead, apparently. Oh, sorry. You know, if you'd rather not talk about no, it... No, no, it's, it's just that I find it a bit odd, thinking back to those days. It's like... It's like I was somebody else. Somebody I once knew and, and suddenly I'm being reminded that he's... That is me. It must be weird. Oh no, I, I didn't mean no, like no, that. It is to most people. Still, a son, eh? I mean, <laughs> flipping neck. I, I know what you're saying, but part of you, you must be made up. Yeah. Part of me just wants to find him and throw my arms around <laughs> him, but I can't, can I? Why not if he wants to meet you? Well, what would he say? It's not going to be I, your dad, is it? Okay, so he might be a bit thrown. All right, a lot thrown, but, you know, we'll get over it. Would you? I don't know, but you've got to give him a chance, Ailes. 
Royal will say the same. You'll see. What? Oh, you are going to tell him? I don't know. I thought you two didn't do secrets. That's just the trouble. What is? It don't matter. <sighs> Look, if you don't want to tell me, that's fine. Because I know I'm a stupid gobby cow who always says the wrong thing. No. But, no, I do care about you, Ailes. You are the nearest thing I've got to a mate. We are mates. Well, then. It, it's just it's a bit personal, that's all. <sighs> I don't blush easily. <laughs> you should know that by now. <sighs> <laughs> when me and Roy finally did get together, well, it were a bit nerve-wracking for both of us. Roy had never, um... He'd never... You were a virgin? Yeah, he, you promise me you'll keep this to yourself, won't you? Of course I will! Roy finds out Ailey, I'm not a total you. idiot. Go on. Well, I, I told him that I was too. Well, it's fair do, as I suppose you were as a woman. Well, exactly, but I told him that Harold was as well. And I know it was a lie, but he was so nervous and I wanted to reassure him and... And I suppose a part of me just didn't want to think about that other night. I didn't want it to have anything to do with that. was... Yeah, well, Roy will understand that. No, he won't. You know what he's like. For him, everything's black and white. You either tell the truth or you tell a lie. You either trust someone or you don't. And he did trust me. And it was a really special night for both of us. I know it must sound stupid to you. Nowadays, everybody jumps into bed with each other at drop of art. Yeah, hey, I hope you're not having a go. Oh, no, no, I, di no. I didn't mean that. No. No, you're right. No one's ever slept with me, and God, it's special. You know, it sounds dead romantic. <sighs> don't know about that. We were both terrified. <laughs> but it did bond us in a way that nothing else ever could. So, how can I tell him all this now? How can I tell him that it were all based on lies? Because that's how he'll see it. Becky! Oh, you promise me you'll keep this to yourself? No, of course I will. Catfish shut. Well, am I not entitled to a lunch break? Not when I've got a cafe Well, full then how else am I supposed to get one? Stuck here on my own. Are you all right? Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. I was just chatting, that's all. Yeah, while well, I have my lunch. So, did you get your toilet rolls? Yes, yes. Great. Well, you and Lord, now I'll open up. Right. Thank you. See you again. I thought I'd just help you clearing up. You can get off, Becky. No, it's all right. It's all right, I'm not in any rush. Go on, Roy. I know you're dying to set that thing up. We can manage. Are you sure? Of course. <laughs> You'll have to tell him sooner or later, you know. Look at you. This is one of the best things that has ever happened to you and you're tying yourself up in knots over it. Yeah, well, I wish it had never happened. I wish I'd never found out. You don't mean that. The whole thing's just a mess and it's best forgotten about. I just pretend it never happened. Why not? Because you can't, you daft bat. It's not something you can just shove to one side like that. It might not even be true. It could be a lie or some sort of mix-up. Yeah, but what if it isn't? Nails, you have at least got to find out. Did you hear that? Worked perfectly. Oh, good. I'm thinking of getting an eco-friendly toilet descaler. Apparently, it stops crystals from forming. Sounds wonderful. Yeah, that's what I thought. Uh, I'll, I'll go and have a look at the catalogue. I can't do it to him, Becky. If I has to come first, not some person that I've never met. Yes, but this could be your kid we're talking about here, Rails. Your own flesh and blood. Do you think I don't know that? Do you think I'm not bursting to go after him? But I can't, can I? So please, don't make this any more difficult than it already is. At this feeling, it's going to be rather quiet today, so if you do need to take some time off, please feel free to take it. Where's Ailey? Oh, upstairs still. She'll be coming down in a bit, though, yeah? I'm sure she will, yes. <clears throat> Ailes. How are you? Uh, I'm all right, thanks. Remember telling me how I have to be honest? Well, you have to be honest and all, you know. 
I'm, um, I haven't really decided what I'm going to do. Have you talked to Roy? No, no, you've not said anything, have you? You've not said anything But we're going to have to get you sorted. You can't go on like this. <sighs> Else Roy's going to notice without anybody having to tell him. Sue! <laughs> right, got a coffee? Yeah, but you sit down, I'll get them. No, no, you do as you're told, I'll get them. Becky, can we get two coffees, please? Yeah, I'll bring, bring them over. over. Can I just say something, Fizz? You are like a different person since you met your new fella. Oh, am I? Mm. Yeah, I can't believe it. <laughs> just keep thinking there's something bound to go wrong. Oh, I know, I generally think like that and all. And do you know what? I've always been right. I can't help noticing that you and Becky are conducting a continuing conversation from which I am excluded. Sorry. No, no, no. I'm not complaining. I'm, I'm sure that she has some problem that you're helping her with. Now, what I'm saying is, why don't you take her out so that you can talk properly? OK, yeah, I suppose. <laughs> don't worry. Uh, I shan't be asking you what it's all about because, uh, well, quite honestly, I think I'd rather not know. <laughs> So, I've had an idea, right, which I think might be the answer. Answer to what? You wanting to know if somebody really is who you think they might be, but without letting somebody else know what you're doing. Only I'm not going to say how else till we sat down in case their ears blapping. Yeah, perhaps we better not, sir. What would you like to drink? Oh, a pint of cider, please. Oh, and I would love a fag. But I know I can't have one, else I'll get thrown into jail. So you... I think what you need, right, oh. is a private detective. Oh! oh. Becky, no! No, listen, hang on, oh. right? So, you get a private detective, he can go and find this might-be-son of yours and tell you all about him. And then, once you know whether he's a real thing or not, then you can decide what to do. Well, for a start off, I, I wouldn't have a clue where to get a private detective. So, I'm like getting a plumber, and, and you don't even have to use your real name. You can be Mrs Smith or whatever. Just tell him what you want to know, and he finds it out for you. Well... I suppose it would be one way of doing it. Yeah. Hey, and the best thing about it, Roy need be none the wiser until you want him to be. <sighs> Do three o'clock I'm working. Oh, well, never mind finding your son. Well, what am I supposed to say? I'm sorry, Mr Connor, I need to nip out. I'm paying a private investigator to... Oh, and that's another thing. It's 300 quid. I need to bring it. Well, even more reason not to miss work. Oh, all right. Honestly, how hard is it to fake a headache? I do it all the... Oh, no, I never do, actually. Not why, Roy. All right, I'll call him back, see if he can do later. Oh, he's here. You've let him in. What a voice. Oh, he's at the whole series. He'll be ages. He don't look like a private investigator. Scrambled egg, grilled bacon, brown toast. That says to me... Married, probably to a younger woman, so he's watching himself so she won't cheat. Or he's not long lost a parent to a heart thingy. See, I could do his job. What have you told him? Only that you're trying to find someone. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> no gristle. Sometimes in these places you expect a bit of gristle in the bacon. Oh, not here. Uh, Roy's very particular. Roy? I didn't mean to mention him. Sorry. I, I'd, I'd like to keep Roy out of this. Sorry, can, can, I, can I start again? You want to find someone? Um, yes. Yes, I do. <clears throat> I'm an investigator, love. Not a mind reader. You'll have to give me something to go on. Sorry. Yeah, it's just, it's a bit, um... It, it's hard to explain. Should we start with who it is? Yeah, yeah, of course. Um, he's, um... Well, I, I think he is, and it's, it's my son. OK. And when did you last see him? Never. You gave him up at birth? I didn't know he'd been born. Adopted? No. Stepson? No, no, he, he is my son, by birth, I mean. I, I can tell you his name, his mother's name, how old he must be, where he was probably born. I, I know this must seem strange. But strange I'm used to, love. It's impossible that's a struggle. I'm, um, or I, I think I am, or, or was, or could have been, his father. His father? 300, wants it? <laughs>
Be in touch. Thank you. In. Lies on lies, Becky. Discovering he exists, meeting him, now money as well. It's lies on lies. Well, at least once you start truth in, you'll know what you're truth in about. <laughs> and Freddie's okay. Don't dwell on it, Roy. When do you think will be a, a good time to visit? Maybe later, eh? Give him some space to himself. Oh, of course, you're, you're right. <laughs> Is there uh, something else bothering you because you've seemed a bit distracted this morning? Well, it's, it seems a little trivial under the circumstances. Mm -hmm. Let me a bit judge you that. I checked our bank balance this morning. It seems there's been a sizable withdrawal. Oh, Ailey loaned us some cash. Now, don't freak. I've not been on a spending spree, hero. The wiring in that poxy place of mine's gone south and I had to pay for an electrician. Now, the bloke what sorts it's on Costa Brava, but as soon as he gets back, he'll give me the money and I can pay you back. You never mentioned this to me. Ah, uh, well, you see, because I was embarrassed, you know, trying to be independent-like. Well, um, I hope you found a reputable tradesman. Oh, certificates and everything. Roy, not everyone I know is a crook. Electricians, faulty wiring. Brilliant, weren't it? Do you know I even amaze myself sometimes? You lied! Well done. Well, you're just gonna make matters worse. It's called watching your back. If I had dived in there, you'd ruined everything. Look, I don't like telling him fibs either, but sometimes needs must. Until that investigator says what's what with Christian, there is no point getting right in a lapper. I just hate deceiving him. I know that. That's what makes folk like you two dead special. Do I say what else about the cash? No, but I'm very worried. Oh, no, I suspect something's up. No, that's the point. He's no idea. I'm worried about what a good liar I've become. It's too easy. Hey! Now, you are not lying. You are choosing the right moment to tell the truth. If you even have to. Nice try. But the truth is, I'm telling lies to the person I love more than anybody in the world. Is everything all right? Yeah, thanks. Oh, yeah. What can I get you? Uh, nothing, thanks. I was just... Wondering, Hayley, um, see if you were going to be in the Rovers around lunchtime. Uh, I don't know. I might be. It's just that all the girls from the factory are going to be there. You know, just having a drink. Bye. So, if you fancy it, then, I'll see you then. Bye. Bye. <sighs> He's a queer bloke. No, I mean, odd. Is that not the weirdest thing you have ever heard? Well, I, I think you'll find that people will resort to unorthodox means to, to make children part of their lives. Yeah, but he's gay. Oh, she must be so desperate. Well, it doesn't mean they, they won't make excellent, loving parents. Yes, please. Oh, uh, take a seat, love. I'll be right with you. Would you mind letting Mrs. Cropper know me, please? Oh, no, she's, um, she's on a dinner hour from work. She'll still be in pub. Is everything all right? Smashing, thanks. I've turned a few things up she might be interested in. Right. Give us ten minutes. I'll go and tell you here, and then we'll see you over there. Yeah. Oh, and if anybody says oh, you're my uncle. Okay. Uh, tea or coffee? I'm going to give it a miss, thanks. Uh, just realise I got this somewhere else. Thank you. Bit of a weirdo. I thought you'd upset him. Roy. Me? Um, listen, when I'm finished with these, how am I fixed for a fat break? Would it greatly diminish the quality of your life if just for once you could ignore the siren call of nicotine? Roy, if I don't get a smoking, it's not my quality of life you'll have to worry about. Uh, I may never understand the pains of childbirth, although I did catch myself in my zip once, oh. and I suspect that's worse. Oh. <laughs> But not that I can't share the experience. What by having a week off? 
Legitimate paternity leave, thank you, Fizz. And I was thinking nearer a month. What for? Two minutes conjuring up a sample? <laughs> Janice, whatever happened to romance? It got replaced by science in your case. I have hidden depths. Yeah, well, you must have if you're not back me and you went with her. Oh, take the notice, Sean. She's scared off straighter blokes than you, haven't you, love? <clears throat> it would be nice to think there was an emotional element involved. Hey, Mara. Look, regardless of what you might think is an acceptable relationship, the bottom line is, I am going to become a dad. And I would appreciate it if you'd all take it a little bit more seriously, like me. All right? Don't forget, somebody's got to text Sally Webster a pie. Oh, I nominate Sean. Making babies, hunting for food, what a man. I mean, what is all that about? Working through your dinner hours so you can skive off later for Shakespeare lessons. <laughs> With my boyfriend. I mean, that's not going to help a worker machine, is it? Huh? <laughs> Give him a chance, he'll get used to it. Hiya. Have you got a minute? What's up with you? Oh, Roy is probably sat to front the calf again. Your detective fella's been in calf. I've told him to come here in ten minutes. Why aren't you back at work? We'll be late. What's up with you? At least hang on and see what's found out, eh? Right, I'm going back now. See you in five. Uh, I think your watch might be a bit fast, Mrs. Connor. Or is it you that's a bit slow? <laughs> five. <laughs> Mrs. Connor. <laughs> Just got something I need to sort out. Um, I'll be a few minutes late. All right. Make sure they're not. You get more time off, is that it? I've just got some things I need to sort out, that's all. Oh, aren't we all, Ellie? Yeah, come on, girls. I can hear the sound of whips cracking somewhere not far off. <laughs> right, before we go any further, you're still absolutely committed to seeing this through? I think that's all. Yes, absolutely. Right. Everything I've come up with so far is in here. You can either take it, and once you've opened it, there's no going back. Or I keep it, I leave, and you forget all about it. Either way, my job's done. It's up to you. Thank you. If you need anything else, give me a ring. No, the best if you can. All in there. Photos, addresses, the lot. All right, love. Bye. Check the dates. Everything ties in with the letters. I'd say it's 99.99% certain that you are, you know. What are we doing? The father. Good luck. He runs that record shop behind him, according to this. It looks all right to me. The shop, I mean, as well. Same garden. It's ten minutes away on a bus. Oh, Becky, uh, I've just had Roy on phone for you. Sorry, I told him you'd gone. Oh, it's all right, Liz, I'll sort it. I've told him, but he's forgot, you know, it's like... <gasps> I know it's not right, but it's getting to be one lie after another. Yeah, well, I'm not leaving you now, am I? So just forget it. It's been this close all this time and I didn't know. He looks like his mum. It's a relief then, eh? Ten minutes away. Hang on. Hang on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You can't just, like, go. I mean, what if... I don't know, what if he's not ready to have his life, like, totally turned upside down? You mean like mine's been? There's no law against looking, is there? No, just calm down. Let's have a thing first, yeah? Afternoon off, girls. Hey, can't be bad. All right for some. I get, I'm owed a couple of hours and I fancy the change. I suggest whatever we decide, we do it elsewhere, else out the street, and you're wondering what's happened. Call in to wait for me. Tell Mrs. Connor I'm sorry, but I'll explain when I get back. Look, I've told you I'm not leaving yet, and I mean it. As long as you're not planning on doing no daft. Come on, then. Bye. See ya. Ailey, slow down. I know we're going to be traipsing halfway across town. I've put some better trainers on. They're falling apart, these. If I slow down, I might stop altogether. Hey, well, you might say we need a lung transplant at this rate. And if I stop, well, I'll never know, will I? Oh, Ailey, just hold up a minute now, will you? Oh, right. I'm just trying to figure out what I'm going to do. 
Yeah, well, when you do, tell me, will you? Because it's doing me head in this. I think I'm just going to have to go in and talk to him. What, like, tell him who you are in that? Straight off, just like that? Oh, no, I don't know. Just a few words, nice weather, how's business, something like that, and then maybe I'll get some sense of what I should do next, and, well, at least I'll have given it a go. All right, then. Come on, what are we waiting for? Do a tell Roy first. Mm. Listen, we know where he is. He's not going to disappear overnight, is he? So, I say, we slide in, suss him out a bit, and then if you don't fancy it, we come home and you can rethink your strategy. Now, can I plan stuff or what? I don't suppose there's any chance of me winding everything back so none of this ever happened. Sorry. But you do know there is still, like, a millionth of a chance that he ain't yours. No. He's mine all right. I'm not getting away from that, no. Come on, Ailey, we've been here nearly an hour. What if Carla's phone, Roy, looking for you? I can't just go waltzing in, can I? Why not? It's a shop, that's what you do. Is Ali going to come up to you and say, excuse me, are you my dad, is he? I could have done without that, thanks. Yeah, I know. But it's just about having a look. Why not? You probably won't even come out to the shop and ain't even have four yet. I can't. All right. OK, I know you think I'm the soul of patience and discretion, but why don't I do it? Hey, and if he's got the first half in Mondays on vinyl, I might even run off them myself. Becky, no! Too late. Don't say anything! Hey, Lee. <sighs> Being quicker, only there's a sale on. Have you seen this for a quid? Becky! I'm only winding you up. Is he in there? Because he's there, it's his shop. What did he say? I think it was something like that'll be a quid. <sighs> he was very nice, very polite, and extremely fit, if you don't mind me saying. Ah, but you don't care about that bit, do you? <laughs> well, I could always lie and say you're ugly, if that'll help. What am I going to do? Well, you were going to put it to Roy not so long back. Yeah, but I'm here now, aren't I? You better get over there, then. Wait for me, eh? Ailey, just go. <laughs> Need any help? Uh, no, no, I'm, I'm just looking things. Though it's very nice of you to ask. <laughs> Polite. You into them? Pixies? Um, well... Because if you like them, you'd be banging to these. Mind you, this is an old one now. Doves, right. Uh, is it, uh, are they nice? <laughs> Dead nice. And if you don't agree with me, I'll give you your money back. Right, well, doves it is then. <laughs> you could charm the doves from the trees. <laughs> I wish every sale was as easy as that. You sure there's nothing else you want? Uh, no, I've got very eclectic taste. What? No, no, thank you. Sure? You okay? Yeah, I, I was just, I was just wondering. Um, I know this might sound a bit odd, but do you take switch? We take sand and pebbles here, love. <laughs> I need a facelift if you've been in there that long, so come on, what happened? I spoke to him, Becky. I spoke to Christian and Becky. He's so lovely. <laughs> hey, you didn't tell me his dad, did you? Becky. Well, I put note past you these days, full of surprises. He recommended this. Oh, he's got the gift of the gab. <laughs> really, you're shaking. Yeah, now I need to go home now. I need to talk to Roy. Thank you, sure. He's going to be devastated, but I need to tell him the truth. <sighs> he has got a seriously cute backside. <sighs> hey, did you when you was a fella? Ronnie didn't. <clears throat> Hiya, bud. Resist the over-familiar use of the vernacular, Becky. I am most displeased with you. Sorry that Becky disappeared, Roy. It was actually my fault. I give up. I do. Oh, well, you know, it's... It's not like you rushed off your feet, is it? Well, appearances can be deceptive. 
And anyway, that is not the point. What did I do last night? I spent time working out the wages, based on what I thought you'd be here to do this week. And then you decide to disappear, and my calculations go to pot. And if Haley was responsible, well, do I pay you, do I not? Are you sure this is a good idea? Roy, I need to speak to you. On a matter of some urgency, actually, so, uh, Becky, could you man the fort for yeah. us? You're being a little bit theatrical, if you don't mind me saying. Requesting my presence here when the cafe's open. The least you could do is tell me why. I'm just trying to find the right words to say. You're not ill? No, no, I'm fine. It's nothing like that, but... I do have something rather difficult to tell you. <sighs> Roy, many years ago, I told you something. I told you something that, well... Well, what, what, what did you tell me? I told you when we met that I was a virgin. Do you remember? Uh, yes. I, and Roy, I was. Well... Of course. But Harold, Roy, Harold wasn't. You see, Harold once had sex with a woman to try to prove that he was normal. Why? Why, why do you lie about that? Did, did you think I'd love you less? I wasn't really Do you not think I'd be able to cope? Me, Haley, I caught up with I'm, everything else about you, didn't I? I? Know. In a way that a lot of men would. I know, I know that. That's part of the reason I fell in love with you. So, uh, Harold wasn't a virgin, but you. I'm not Harold, Roy. But you were Haley. You were. Yeah, well, I'm not anymore. Roy, sit down, please. There's something else. I'm so sorry. While I was clearing through my Auntie Monica's stuff, I found some letters. And I, and I discovered that out of this dreadful experience, Something beautiful to come out of it. Roy, I have a son. I was as much in the dark about this as you. But she got pregnant and she had a baby. And, and then a few years ago she died and, and he tried to trace me. He'd written me letters but my auntie Monica hadn't passed him on. Son? His name's Christian. That, that's him. And believe me, I've only just found out about this. I have a photograph. Yeah. How'd you get that? I hired a private investigator. A private investigator? And today I went to see him. That's what they do in American films. I went to talk to him to tell him the truth, only when I got there... You may as well be speaking Esperanto, Haley. It doesn't make sense. Words are coming out of your mouth, but none of them are real. But I stopped myself because I realised I had to tell you everything first. I know it's a lot to take in. Let me get this straight. Yeah, yeah, of course. You lied. All those years well, ago. Well, it wasn't Be like quiet, that. Haley. Let me speak. Not only that, but for the past few weeks, you've been doing lots of things behind my back. Yes. I presume the private investigator doesn't work free of charge. Well, no. You have deceived me about your past and for the last few weeks. It wasn't like that. What was it like? It was a journey I had to go on uh, on my own. On your own? Yes. With Becky? I didn't know what was going to happen. It could have all ended in tears. I, I didn't want to cause you anxiety. Tears? Tears? Who are you? 
when I woke up this morning, you were my wife. But now, I don't recognise you. Oh, I don't please. touch me, Haley. Save the physical contact for your son. Two sugars, yeah? Yeah. Well, I'd say you were sweet enough, Jay. You know what I'm saying? This floor wants mopping. Right, where are you going? For a walk, alone. Right, boy. Hey, leave him. I'm gonna need some space. What have I done? Are you alright? Well, you heard him breaking. This floor needs mopping, honestly. Sorry. Oh, don't be daft. I feel sick, Becky. Well, Roy just needs some space. I think it's over. Oh, Hayley. It's a lot for him to take in. It's a lot for anyone to take in. You two have always wanted kids. And now you've got one and... Truth and honesty between us, that's always been our touchstone. Roy can't handle anything but the truth. Even sarcasm he doesn't get. And I thought I was the same, but I'm not. I'm just stupid. I thought I'd changed after my gender reassignment, but I haven't. Harold was a stupid man and I'm a stupid woman. At least I'm consistent. Look, I just don't know what the right thing to say is. I've never met anyone like you. And I don't mean the trans... tranny thing, whatever you call it. I mean you. And you are not stupid, Haley. The least stupid person I know. You're brilliant. You care about folk. Gosh, I could be more like you. I didn't care about Roy. Oh, we both know that's not true. Such a mess. You watch. He'll be back once he's calmed down and he'll understand. If anyone can, he will. Roy. If I lied. If? If? It was because I was trying to protect you, misguided as that might sound. Please, don't spout clichés at me. There's nothing clichéd about this. If there was, there might be some stock response I could give, but there isn't. It's the truth. Shall I tell you what, what I think about truth, Haley? Shall I tell you how I feel about honesty? Well, I know that they're incredibly important to you, as they are to me. Well, yeah, you, you would have thought so, wouldn't you? Knowing all your life that you've been born into the wrong body. Knowing that to be true. Yes, I can see that. It was so important that I had to convince others it was true. Friends and family and doctors. I've been fighting all my life, Ray, and I don't want to fight with you. Then why do you pepper the fight with lies? Because I'm weak. Well, I don't see why I should sway my principles just to make you feel better. I don't want that. And I don't want you standing there asking forgiveness. I can't forgive Haley. So just go back upstairs. Well, what are you going to do? You can't stay down here all night. Well, that's, that's another lie, isn't it? Because I could, couldn't I? I might not be particularly comfortable, but I could. Roy, I have got a son, and that has been a massive thing for me to get my head around, and I'm sorry that in dealing with that, I've behaved badly towards you. But you're right, I do want you to forgive me. And then we can go on this journey together. Journey? Journey? Do you, do you have to be so American about it? Well, it is a journey. Right, and you're flying solo. What am I? Back in the terminal. If giving him up meant keeping you, then I would. You see, I told you I was weak. Please, Roy, please come with me.
starving me. This won't touch the sign. Does it ever? Oh, listen to her. Never happier than when she's got a laughing gear round a bacon torpedo. Right. Are you on a go slow today or what? I mean, we're wanting us breakfast, love, not dinner. I take it you don't want your sausage raw. If it's fast food you're after, I suggest you go elsewhere. I know you're unhappy, but there's no point taking it out on the customers. Talk to me, Roy. Shout, chuck things if you have to, but do something, please. Have a cafe to run? Yeah, and I have a son, and ignoring that fact is not going to make it go away. Now we need to discuss what we're going to do. £4.80, please, lady. Oh, at last. Well, I'll tell you what, Roy, I hope it was worth the wait. Otherwise, it'll be kebabs all round at dinner time. You've never blanked me like that before. I don't like it, Roy. This isn't us. I'm not sure what us means anymore. I suggest you hurry and catch your friends. You'll be late for work. Roy, we're a bit mad, you just then. What's up with him? Nothing, he just takes a pride in his food, that's all. There's such a thing as customer service, Ella. I don't think Roy need to take any lessons in courtesy from you. You are? Respect's a two-way street. You get what you give, Janice. And let's face it, there's more chance of you speaking Swahili than saying please and thank you most days. <gasps> What's the matter with her? What are you doing? Storing a little order to the chaos you created. Small, medium, large bowls over there. It is not difficult. But it doesn't make any odds how the stack does it. It does to me, and that should be reason enough. Right, you're the boss. Yeah. But I reckon you've more important stuff to sort than flaming plates. Whatever she might have done, boy. Ailey loves you. Uh, there's customers want seeing you. Well, they'll wait, this won't. She's really suffering, Roy. She... Will you stop it? I'm sorry. Sorry, but life doesn't just divide into neat little piles, black and white. Sometimes you have to lie. Uh, no. No. There is always a choice. And the choice you make says everything about who you are. Mrs Connor. Mm -hmm. You were right, Em. My mind has been wondering. Truth is, there's something I need to do. Oh? It's a bit personal, and I know this is a cheek, but I could do with taking an afternoon off. Well, at least you had the decency to ask me today. I'm sorry about disappearing yesterday. Once this is dealt with, it won't happen again. Well, it's not ideal, but seeing that you're gone, I might as well get off now. Thank you. I promise I'll make it up to you. Ellie, whatever it is, I hope you get it sorted, right? So do I. You all right, love? What are you doing? With no customers. There might be somebody in the lavatory. There's not. Well, I might as well take my break. As soon as we shut, I'll be outside having a drag. There'll be people wanting their lunches. We need to sort this out. Please, Roy. Thank you. I know that you're hurt. I made a horrible mistake when I lied to you about my past. But it doesn't invalidate everything that followed. We've had nine wonderful years since that night and what we have now is as special and as genuine as it always was. How can it be? Look, I've always tried to tell the truth. But you were the first person with whom I could be absolutely honest. I presume that honesty was mutual. Well, without it. What? We're done with? Do you not love me? Well, it's not a question of that. Of course it is. That's what it'll come down to. I know you had a certain vision of me it and... It was my sanctuary, Haley. It was... It was the one place where I, I didn't have to be worldly. But now to find that even there I was naive... You Wounds, you aren't. So, Roy, please don't do this. What matters isn't some idealised view of our marriage. It's the day to day. Climbing them stairs after we've finished in here, watching the headlines with our oarlicks, wrangling over the quilts. That's our happiness. And that won't all change? That won't all change now? Well, it needn't. 
My son isn't a threat. Far from it. Could be something wonderful. Or not, I don't know. But I have to find out. I suppose you were bound to be curious. You know how I've longed for a child. What I've, what we've been through. But I'd come to terms with it. It couldn't be crying shame, but that was that. And now, suddenly out of the blue, this. I can't walk away. But I will. You've given me more joy than I ever thought possible. And if it has to be a choice, then I choose you. I, w I wouldn't put you in that position. I mean, that, that would change things irrevocably. I know you have to see him. Not without you behind me, Roy. I can't do it without your support. Then you have it. One condition. No more lies, Haley. The next time you see him, you have to tell him the truth. For all our sakes. I, I, uh, it's, excuse me. Afternoon, I was just wondering if Christian was about. Is he not in today? Yeah, he's in. He's just popped out to the shop. I can't do without us fixing Jaffa cakes. <laughs> really? <laughs> Where's the fax? You should be back in five. Right, uh, thank you, I'll, uh, I'll just browse. <laughs> okay. um, I'm a bit pushed for time, so I'm, I might just pop back another day. Okay, who shall I uh, see? Nobody, yeah, it doesn't matter. <laughs> oh, <Sorry. gasps> oh, hello again. Didn't you like the album? Oh, no, it was very pleasant, thank you. Pleasant? You should write for NME. I'll be at the counter if you need anything. Oh, wait, um, It's all right, we don't mind you browsing. No, no, you, you don't understand, and I came to see you about your father. What about him? Who are you? I'm... I'm your... your father's sister. So where's I'm afraid Harold's been dead some years now. I'm sorry. Sorry, I, I shouldn't have sprung all this on you out at Blue. No, no. It's no easy way, is there? Are you all right? Me? Yeah, fine. It's just a bit of a shock, I suppose. Having it confirmed. Confirmed? As far as I'm concerned, he died a long, long time ago when he couldn't be bothered to reply to me letters. I didn't even know you existed. And nor did he. I'm sure of it. My Auntie Monica got the letters. She never passed them on. Why not? Your father didn't have the easiest of lives. I'm sure Auntie Monica just did what she thought was right, but I know that your dad would never have abandoned you. That's not what my mum said. She reckoned he was a rock. Yeah, well, I think it's fair to say that I knew your dad a lot better than she did. Look, why don't you come round to mine tomorrow if you're free? I could show you some pictures and we can talk properly. OK. This is new dress. Cheers for letting us know, anyway. Uh, you didn't mention your name. Oh, it's Haley. Right. Well, maybe I'll see you tomorrow, then. Yeah. Bye. Bye. Sorry, I'm a bit late. Oh, it's all right. Did you speak to him? Yeah, yeah, I did. We chatted for a while. How was he when you told him? Hayley? I couldn't do it, Roy. It's bad enough me appearing out at Ether after all these years without burdening him with... Uh, I, I believe it's called the truth. He's been hurt enough. I tried to be kind. Is that so wrong? You promised. You promised me. You sat there and promised no more lies. So, what did you tell him? That Harold's dead. Which he is in every way that matters. 
I said I was Harold's sister. It's very creative. You're becoming quite accomplished in the arts of deceit. What harm will it do? He'll be much happier thinking of me as his auntie than, than having to come to terms with a transsexual father. I was going to say that you ought to be ashamed of yourself, but it does seem that you already are. I was thinking of him. No. Even now you are piling lie upon lie. You told him you were his aunt because you, you didn't want him to reject you, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah, all right. Guilty as charged. I was being selfish. Well, so what? I'm only human. What about being humane? He has a right to know. And if you can't tell him the truth, you're better off staying away. He's coming here tomorrow. Then you'll be honest with him? Because if not, I want no part of it. I can't make you that promise, Roy. Well, actually, it wouldn't really matter if you did. Because after today, I don't think I believe you.